Hi everyone, this is Mert Uzun. Today I'm going to present your article, which we prepared with Emre Gürcanlı. Our article presentation title is Safe Work with a Statement for Construction Activity. After uh, this short in introduction, we can move on the topics that I will tell you today. Uh, today I will make my presentation under six topics you have seen on the screen. I will start off by describing what method statement is, and uh, I will finish with benefits of safe work method statements in project management. Let's move on uh, presentation. What is the method statement is the first question of presentation. Uh, it's the general question. You may have heard of this concept, the method statement concept, with the following names, safe system of a work or safe work method statement. Briefly, we can say it's SWIMS, SWIMS for safe work method statement and MS uh, for method statement. Actually, MS is a description of the work will be carried out uh, safely. I mean, that it's, it's, it's the safe way. And uh, also it's used for high risk work to provide information to employees about how the work should be done and the precautions needed. And we can say that uh, method statement is a document that includes the activities and the precautions to be taken regarding the occupational safety of these activities. I think it's the general definition uh, of method statements uh, is that. And the second question is why do we uh, need a method statement? Here you can find a quick answers. Uh, first of all, to gather uh, sufficient information about the activities, such as steps of the activities and details of the these uh, sub-activities, our workforce, equipment, materials, other details, or to coordinate people uh, with different responsibilities uh, related to these activity within the project management, or in order to agree on details, make an agreement with the uh, client and uh, between client and the principal contractor or employer and the contractor to identify uh, activity-based hazards and uh, assess the risks and defining the precautions is also the most important answer uh, for this question. This is an important part of our work. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, before, Beto Statement provides the opportunity to determine occupational health and safety principles by evaluating the risk related to the activity. Uh, in the study, a realistic safe work method statement creation process is described. A simple flowchart is shown on the screen. Here you can see how a method statement is prepared uh, in five states. And in first stage, general information about activities should be collected. Key persons, definition of activities, duration, other uh, information will be collected in the second part of uh, these methods. Uh, in the second step, uh, sources of activities should be defined. Third step is risk assessment step. Here we will use the GSA method. I will give details about this on the next page. And fourth step, we can define the measures, precautions, and move on the last step. Uh, in the last step, it is recommended to review and improve uh, for a better uh, method statement. Find the gap between documentation and site application and uh, improve your documentation and application. It's the generic uh, type of management system. Uh, it's very important to describe the resources at the beginning of uh, this process correctly uh, and make a really uh, site-based risk assessment brings you uh, the better uh, GSA assessment and it will be bring you better safe work method statements. Uh, let's move on GSA. Uh, 
I want to brief you about GSA. GSA is a typical and effective method for assessing risk. Uh, it focuses on identifying risk and control measures by focusing each of the sub activities. Uh, it's, I think it's important. This is a unique uh, perspective. This is a unique aspect of the method allows for detailed analysis of each of the sub-steps that already present in the method statements. This provides an opportunity to describe measures to make all details of the activity set. I mean that we can mix the method statements uh, approach with the GSA uh, for assessing the risk. Using these methods, we can uh, also make detailed, with using this method, we can make detailed risk assessment on these activities by reducing each activity to its substance. I think it's very useful. The tables on screen can be helpful to understand the method. First of all, the general definition of the activity uh, should be defined. For example, uh, excavation work, steel structure assembly, and something like that. Then it's described how to relevant work will be done step by step. Uh, then the hazards and risks in the each step should be determined. After that, the risk should be evaluated and the measures to be taken against the risk should be determined. Another important point here is that the risk control hierarchy should be utilized while determining control parameters. In every uh, sub steps, we should think uh, risk control hierarchy. You can see on the screen a typical matrix uh, method. You can see probability of risk in vertical line and the severity of risk uh, description on the horizontal line. As you can see, risk level can be calculated according to this matrix approach, which evaluates the severity and probability together. Also, you can see the details about the risk level uh, I series, medium or low, and explanations in the table. This is the short brief about GSA. Now, I want to show you a template uh, prepared to describe the subject better. This document, which is several pages long, will be useful for sampling. Uh, it should be noted that all safe work method statements must be site specific. This template has been prepared to give an idea about the subject. Let's take a look at the template. This part, uh, the first part of templates contains general information such as project name, uh, description of the activity, location, uh, start and finish dates, the key persons, roles, and informations. Um, the second part of template, as I mentioned earlier, um, in the metal statements, the general and detailed descriptions of the activity and the source of the activity, just like uh, workforce, machinery, equipment are defined. In addition, potential um, hazardous, uh, hazard situations, hazardous behaviors of activity source can be specified here. Maybe you have a uh, chemical materials and you can put it here and uh, mark the explosive uh, field maybe you can or also corrosive like that um in order to identify hazards a checklist has been created uh, it's created from uh, dangerous or hazardous acti activities that often cause accidents in construction sites. Uh, here, the main hazards should be marked by the, the sub-steps sub of the activity. Uh, this checklist is a preliminary step in identifying assessment risk. Uh, when you think the hazards, you can use this checklist in, on the sub-activity uh, when you focus on a sub-activity, put this checklist and think about these uh, positions. 
Then this is the risk assessment uh, part. You can see sub activity number and sub activity short definition, hazardous stations and exposed person, and here probability, severity, and uh, level of risk. Uh, this evaluation should be might, uh, made by the uh, team uh, who will carry out the activity, site engineer, site supervisor, other engineers. And you can determine the risk level with the help of the metrics I showed to you earlier. You can calculate the risk score for each uh, of the sub activities and determine the average risk score of the activity from here. You can see here before the prevention, general risk level is high. And um, it should be started to describe the control measures, control parameters to be taken against the risks. The necessary measures are divided into two pieces as before uh, the activity starts and during the activity. The main reason for this is to ensure that all collective protection measures are taken before the activity starts. This approach is also important in, ter in terms uh, of these uh, methods statement to be integrated into the work schedule with other activities. Um, details about necessity of using PPs should be shown on this form after the risks are evaluated. Uh, also emergency procedures state here. This is the last stage. You can find here first aid facilities and other information, other health informations, and uh, technical drawings, reference documentation. This is, this is the appendix of the safe work method statements. It's also important uh, part of uh, method statements. Uh, the work should be started uh, after the signature of the relevant person, because of this reason, uh, information about the person who created this form should be included in the form also. Uh, the information of the person who, who we are approving the activity should be found at the end of the form. And uh, we can say how we can use safe work methods statements in project management. You know, occupational health and safety risks should be evaluated during the preparation of uh, project schedule and construction projects. You know, many activities are carried out simultaneously in the construction industry and method statements of high risk activities in the project should be evaluated in the planning of activities. It's, it's, it's a very good point of view uh, because safe work method statements need to be integrated into the project schedule, describing safe work method statements in the resources description of the activities in the project schedule is very useful methods. Uh, is it known measures to be taken in the most activities uh, taken before the related activity starts, for example, before working at height, um, collective uh, protection measures such as temporary ads uh, protection systems and safety needs should be taken. The resources to be used for the measures described in safe work method statements and which must be taken before the activity starts should be included in the work schedule. It's the integrated work schedule with the health and safety issues. It's, I think it's a good point of view. Uh, benefits of safe work method statements. There are a lot of benefits of preparing and using safe work method statements. Uh, method statements enables detailed evaluation of high risk activities and determination of measures. Uh, it's integrated assessment of project management. Uh, you know, it's communicate people. Uh, with the risk communication, uh, preventing problem uh, arising from the work schedule, uh, and also it's a defined tool in uh, construction or contractor occupational health and safety management communication. Also, uh, you can use it for collecting data for future activities. Maybe you can make a meta statement library. I don't know. Um, these benefits provide many opportunities to uh, improve uh, successful health and safety management in construction project. 
uh, I think in order to evaluate these opportunities, construction site should be simulated while the construction project is still in preparation phase uh, and method uh, statements should be prepared based on this simulation. Uh, method statements can be integrated with some softwares or mobile applications. I think it's uh, thought that it's uh, that is possible to provide effective uh, coordination and cooperation in project management with this approach. Uh, my presentation ends here. Uh, you can review the article for more information on subject. Um, thank you for listening to me. Uh, goodbye. <laughs>